Hey everybody, this is Brett. Welcome back to School Sucks Live. Today is September 6, 2012, I would say. and uh, Sounds about right. Yeah, Corey in the studio with me. On the phone, we have Larkin Rose, and we also have a caller named Jason. We spent the last segment talking about oh, this language of, of government, and uh, Jason had called me before the show and mm-hmm. said that he uh, believed he had identified a contradiction in, in our position. We're going to get to that, but when we went to the break, I had asked him what he felt like the ideal form of government was. We had identified uh, the Constitution as that. And then during the break, we actually had a little bit of chatter there uh, about uh, did the Constitution work? So, Jason, I'll start by opening it up to you. Um, A lot of people have a lot of reverence for the Constitution. We are, uh, you know, 240 years later, uh, looking back and evaluating how it went, I would say, uh, did it work? And you would probably say no, but... It seemed like you were putting some of the blame on um, the development of the corporation in America as a person. Well, that was the the mechanism that they used to basically usurp the Constitution and its original meaning. I would I would further say that most of the people I talk to that have any reverence to the Constitution haven't even read it, and those that have read it. They they look at the inconsistencies of their current government and what the Constitution says, and they just kind of somehow ignore those or somehow justify them. Like, you know, you have the freedom of speech, but obviously you can't go into a building and yell fire because that would cause all kinds of neg- negative consequences. Well, in a way, I kind of see the argument, but in another way, I, I kind of see it as, well, you know, all you have to do is start that incremental process, and now you can no longer speak anywhere, which is exactly what we see on YouTube, where if you try to peacefully assemble, um, good luck with that uh, baton to your head, um, that kind of thing. But as far as the contradiction, I, I kind of want to isolate that and go into specifics. Sure. You, you, you're basically saying that, you know, we, we can live without a government. It is governments are bad we can do better i'm saying um, we could we one live. day yes i'm saying we already okay. do i'm saying there already isn't such thing as government right we're, I'm, legit- and, 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 we're hallucinating the- legitimacy where there is none. <laughs> and i'm saying that <laughs> uh one day people would be able to live without that hallucination as a part of their lives at all. So I I tend to agree with Larkin makes a very convincing case in the book that, yes, objectively, this is not something that actually exists. But the illusion is very, very important to people. And when you try to use facts and moral, uh, moral arguments to shatter it, oh, it doesn't go well. So I'm saying one day I believe that people will uh, move beyond this myth the same way, by and large, human civilization has moved beyond other myths the same way, by and large, people, as they get older and more mature, let go of myths that they are talked about, uh, that they are taught about when they are younger. Like Santa Claus. Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny. Uh, For me, it went uh, Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, God Government. Well, well, the, the, just briefly say some about my background. I I was kind of ahead ahead of the mark. I had my realization at the age twelve, but no one around me could, you know, basically see what I saw, and and I basically had to deal with everything on my own. And, you know, that was kind of an isolating, you know, force upon me. But the contradiction that I see basically with your argument is how can you have a collaboration of a, a, even a moderately sized group without some sort of organization? Oh, I'm and, not a, and that I'm not at all anti-organization. I'm saying well, no human being has an exemption from morality. And if you use the example of the constitution, it article one, section eight is a list of exemptions from morality. They're allowed to steal. Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes. Even if it's in a limited way, what that was obviously doing is saying these people over here have the right to do something that none of the rest of you have the right to do. They have the right to steal. 
Well, let me dispel another common myth. Well, of let's the well, let's deal with that. Let's deal with that part first. Let's let's deal with that, and let's remember uh, well, too I, that this was not uh, the, the even the fantasy of the public granting them this privilege did not exist. They did this in secret. They would not let reporters in to cover what they were doing. This was uh, very much a cabal that produced okay. this document. So go ahead. I, I understand that, but as far as the actions of the Constitution, it was never uh, designed or implemented with the intention of actually being able to touch the individuals. And, and in fact, if you look at the Constitution, it, it, it directs most of its power towards uh, the, the actual federal government, and then anywhere that it has any interactions is always supposed to be with the state. It is never, the U.S. Constitution is never to have any direct action towards any individual anywhere. Well, and I, that I've, was, heard that, I've heard that before, and we can guess about intentions, but look what the words actually say. Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes, and then it goes on with the restrictions. Now, just, just look at the first part of the phrasing, Congress shall have the power to. Obviously, if what came in the rest of the sentence is something we all have the power to do, they wouldn't have written it down. Like, they wouldn't write down, Congress shall have the power to tie their own shoes. You don't need to write that down. You don't have to call that a power. The only thing you well, need to write down is permission to do something that's bad if anyone else does it. No, that, that's not, that's a mischaracterization. I mean, basically, what the Constitution said is the government shall be able to do nothing except these things. Yeah, and, robbery, and, and, crushing and, insurrection, and declaring war. I, I, I understand you like to put negative connotations on everything, but basically, to wait, put it in wait, 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 Brett's wait, wait. terms, I, I wanna, hold wait. on, to put it in Brett's terms, basically, the function of the Constitution is to give the magic soap to the people so that when the government gets out of line, they are then justified in removing it. That is the real power of the Constitution. It's not... It, it, you it, notice it, it doesn't, utterly failed? No, but that's... And, and, it, and that's not the argument. The magic soap, or the magic costume, as it's called, is what the people in government have, right? Yeah, it doesn't say the people shall have the power to lay and collect taxes. It says Congress. The people don't get the magic soap or the magic costume. That's but, for the but rulers. If, if ahead, you Larkin. say it's a negative connotation, I want to hear your positive connotation on telling somebody that they're allowed to demand money from somebody else and hurt them if they don't pay up. What's the positive uh, way to describe that? Uh, well, to put it in context, I mean, in, in what I was trying to say is that the federal government only has power to tax the states. Who says? And then, well, that that's exactly what it was intended to do. I How mean, do you know that? You, by research. Research what? That's not what the words say. It's not what the Federalist Papers say. You know what? Federalist. Here's what we're going to have to do. Jason, I've got uh, more stuff that I need to do in this show, and I want to keep the phone open for other callers. It's lit up a few times. We're going to be on after midnight. Larkin might not stick with us. I can talk to him about that uh, in a few minutes. But uh, if you want to call us back and keep this conversation going, you can. Uh, for now, I'm going to have to let you go to open the phone back up. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. This is School Sucks Live. Take control of your money today and do it with style.